Hi, I'm Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 8, Section 3, Number 10, which reads, A group of 202 people went on an overnight camping trip, taking 60 tents with them. Some of the tents held two people, and the rest of it held four people. Assuming that the tents were filled to capacity and every person got to sleep in a tent, exactly how many of the tents were two-person tents? So one thing you can do is you can make a table here. You can make a column for two people tents, a column for four people tents, and a column for the total number of people. You want to do this in conjunction with using your answer choices. If you do it in conjunction with using your answer choices, it's going to be much more efficient. So what I'm going to do is I always want to start with one middle answer choices because then I can tell if I need more or less and you're, we're going to see how. So let's say I'm testing out answer choice B. If there's 22 people tents, remember there's a total of 60 tents. So that would leave 44 people tents. 20 times 2 is 40. 4 times 40 is 160. 160 plus 40 is 200 total tents. And you could write that out, figure that out. Um, but yes, it would be 200 total people. So do I need more two people tents or do I need fewer two people tents? Now this could be a little tricky. We actually need more people. So if we need more people, then we need more four people tents and fewer two people tents. So if 10, 20 is wrong, then 30 is also going to be wrong. And if you really think about it, you if you replace one two people tent with a four person tent, that's an increase of two people. So that should work out. Let's test it out. If we make 19 two people tents, that's going to be 19 times two, which is a total of 38 people. That would give you 41 four people tents. So four times 41 is going to give you 164. And if we add that up, what we get is 202. So it works. This is our answer. It's C. Before we move on, I'm going to show you an alternative way to solve it, which would be writing a system of linear equations. So let's say x equals number of, I'm just going to put two p tenths, two people tenths. We could say y equals the number of four p tenths, four people tenths. In that case, x plus y is going to be 60. And 2x plus 4y is going to be 202. Now, where did I get this? Well, if you add the number of two people tents, number of four people tents, a total of 60 tents, and it tells us up top there's a total of 60 tents. Now, if it's, we're looking for the total number of people, then we've got to multiply the number of two people tents by two people and then multiply the number of four people tents by four people in order to get our total number of people, which would be 202. And now you could eliminate or substitute since they are lined up. I'm more of a fan of elimination. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna multiply this. I wanna solve for the variable that I need to solve for right away because typically what they'll do is they will have the number two people tents also have the number of four people tents. It turns out they don't do that for this question, but get in the habit of eliminating what you need to eliminate right away and solving for what you need to solve for immediately. So if I multiply this top by negative four, then what I get is negative four X minus four Y equals negative 240. Now when I add it down, these cancel, I get negative two Y equals negative 38. When I divide both sides by negative two, this cancels and I get a positive 19. Once again, C is my answer. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You can share it with someone who has trouble with systems of linear equations and word problems, or does not know how to make a chart or a graph or a table. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything, and check out our short video on TikTok. Have a great day. Thank you.